Ever noticed how everybody in your life seems to be a financial expert? Psst, I found a stock that you have to invest into. Bought this junk with cash. You should have financed it with a massive interest rate. I just found out that if you rip a note in half, it counts as double. Okay, maybe not the last one. And yet at the same time, you do technically need to be qualified to give financial advice. So then why do you listen to them? Well, lucky for you, I've scoured the interwebs to find the top 10 worst financial advice given to you by your friends, your family, your Auntie Karen. No offense, Auntie Karen. With each one getting progressively worse. Time to do some debunking. Let's take a look at bad tip number one. How much do you say that new job's paying you again? About 25k after tax, but it means I can start investing. Whoa, 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 let me stop you there. You need to be earning way more before you start investing. What? I can easily put away 100 pounds a month. I'd say start in like 10 years from now if you wanna make real money. That advice isn't just wrong in my opinion, it's wrong in the opinion of maths. You don't believe me, do you? If you were to invest 100 quid each month from the age of 20 to 60 and got historical returns of 10%, then you'll end up investing 48K, but by 60, you'll have 558. Now, let's say you start investing 10 years later. Now you need to be putting away 270 quid a month or a total of 97K over those 30 years. Oh, so then what happens when you start at 35? Now it's 450 pounds overall or 135K in total. Now do 40, 770 a month or 185,000 overall. 50, 50, 50, 50. It's now 2,800 pounds a month or 360K overall. So yeah, start investing early. Bad tip number two. Mate, I got that pay raise, 100K a year, baby. Baby, All right. I am buzzy. Do you know money doesn't buy happiness? So well, turns out maybe it does. To prove it, we need to head back to 2010. You see, back then, two Nobel Prize winners in economics put together a study that found that after you earn 75,000 pounds, no more money will give you happiness. Fast forward to 2021, and there was a new kid on the block. Meet Matthew Killingsworth. He decided that the old study didn't have enough sample sizes, so it was time to rip it up. And what did he find? That money will continue to make you happier the more you earn continuously. But there were three small caveats. One, he only studied people earning up to 500K a year because there's not that many people earning more than 500K a year. Two, people that defined their personal success through wealth did not get any happier. Three, happiness increased the same relative to how much you were earning. So it was the same from 1,000 to 2,000 as it was from 100K to 200K. That's it, number three. Son, you've got a letter. Yeah, give, 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 give. Is that what I think it is? Uh, yeah, it's my new credit card. Give that to me. How many times have I told you that these things are evil? <laughs> With credit cards, it's always been you either love them or hate them. I mean, it makes sense because one in 10 Americans actually think they're evil and over half of the US have credit card debt. I personally follow three golden rules when it comes to credit cards, meaning I'll never pay a penny in interest and it will make my mortgage cheaper one day. First thing is that I pay my credit card off in full every month, no exception. Second is if I can't buy it twice with a debit card, I can't buy it once with a credit card. And number three, never pay more than 30% of your credit limit. It's a valid point. So let me share with you the other benefits I've had from using credit cards over the past five years. Lounge access, cashback, discounts at major retailers, air miles, companion vouchers, travel insurance. And most importantly, it's helped me get an amazing credit score, which will make borrowing money and getting mortgages so easy in the future. Yo, long time no see, come in. Mate, this place is nice. How much is it costing you? A couple of grand each month or something like that? Wait, you're renting? Uh, yeah. Do you know that renting is just throwing money away? Oh, don't worry, I do that as well. If only it was actually that easy to buy a house these days. So your parents' attitude to buying a house is completely different to yours because of this. Let's take London, for example, where in 1999, this was the average salary and this was the average house price. Fast forward to 2022, where the average salary has almost doubled, whilst house prices haven't just doubled, they haven't just tripled, they've gone up three and a half times. That's quite the disparity. The tip should now be, don't get pressured into buying, because that could be throwing money down the drain.
Bad tip number five. You've been such a good employee this year, we want to give you a raise to 52k. Cheers, boss, but it's a no from me. You're not being serious, right? I'm going to stick with my 45k. But why would you do that? Well, my salary's currently in the 20% tax bracket, and if I go above 50k, I'm going to go in the 40% tax bracket, and I'll take home less money. Yeah, that's not how income tax works, but surprisingly, millions of people believe that it actually does work like that, and it kind of shows you how well finance is taught in schools. And if you are one of those people that thought it worked like that, then let's head inside. Firstly, so I can teach you how it works, and secondly, because I can't feel my fingers. So this is how people think an 100k salary is going to get taxed. Because you fall into the 40% bracket now, you're going to pay 40k in tax. But this is completely wrong. But this is how an 100k salary actually gets taxed. You pay 0% on your first 12.5k, you pay 20% on the next 37.5k, and you pay 40% on the final 50k. So it's actually only a total of £27,500 in tax. Now, if you've had one, if not all of these financial tips given to you at some point in your life, then I suppose fate must have brought us together with this video. So now let fate guide you to clicking on this video over here if you want to take your financial education to the next level.